Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and if you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back to this channel um, for another video. So in this video, I think I'm going to be doing my very first first impressions on this channel. But a first impressions on various different things that I just got in yesterday and the day before. Like ColourPop, NYX, Stands Out Beauty, all that in this video, okay? And then you're going to see me use some other products that are not new to me, but they're new to the channel. And so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And if you want to laugh, please watch this video because it all came together. But girl, it was a process. It was a process, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. See ya. So I've got my eyebrows done and my eyelids have been primed. So I'm going to hop right in with this new CoverGirl um, True Blend It's Lit Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep. And the reason I picked this up is because I saw um, Destiny Godly use this on her channel. Okay. The last time. Oh, it's nice and thick so far. And it's a nice golden shade, which is really nice. It's not going to be too light, which is sometimes a concern that I have with drugstore deep shades. You know, they say they're deep, but really not. Okay. I'm going to blend that out with this sponge this is from stands out beauty and i saw it on tati's page i actually bought two of them because i was quite sure that these would sell out this is like memory foam look and you squeeze it and then it just like it takes some time to like come back into its form it says um for the first three to four uses use it wet and then after it's been like kind of like broken in then you can use it wet or dry however you prefer so i'm gonna go wet this she raved about the sponge so we're gonna see and she said it might be better than the beauty blender. <laughs> all right, that blended out nicely. <laughs> They're like, all the sides are like freaking huge. So that's one thing. If you have like small areas to blend out, then, you know, it might be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. So is it as full coverage as like my Born This Way concealer? Um, no. When I blend it out, it kind of, you know, as you can see, you can still see that my eyes are darker than the rest of my face. Um, you know. So. But it's cool. We'll see how it performs under eye. I might have to get something else to go with it. Alright. The Mar palette. This is what it looks like. And it's got a mirror. Okay. And so this is not, I'm going to not going to be using this palette to its full potential today because you see all these beautiful blues. I ain't touching none of them. I got to go to work. So colors do not have, oh, they have names on the back. Okay. Names on the back, but I'm sure you guys have heard everyone on YouTube say like, how do I match this up? You know, does that mean, is the shade right behind the color? Anyways, I'm going to go into this shade here, which will be a transition shade for me. Okay, and as you can see, it's really not, you know, doing too much as far as, like, color is concerned because, you know, it's basically the same shade as my skin. So, I'm getting a little bit of a color, but not too much. Alright, and so now I'm going to go into the dark brown shade, which I'm pretty, which I can, you know, say for sure it's top down because it's in the middle row. Um little bit of kickback nothing to be alarmed about though whoa, whoa yeah 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 he's a good god good god okay it's blending in pretty nicely got a nice color payoff especially on that brown tan brush or tan tan color and do some blending of the edges okay come on now blend out <clears throat> I'm just gonna go right on top of it actually <clears throat> it's not it's not blending it's not blending out right there and 
sometimes I struggle in that area, but still it's just like a freaking harsh line, which is not cool at all. Okay. All right. I'm going to see what I can do with this shade. It's called wild one right there. It's a shimmery shade. Very nice. And then just put that. Oh my, no glitter glue guys at all. That is nice. <laughs> that is nice. Trying to get a more precise brush so I could just get right on that edge and then it would like do more. As far as that blend. And it's looking like it has a pinky twinge to it and I don't know if I had some other product on my brush before or what. I'm not one of those people that lays down a powder like to set my concealer or my primer on my eyes first. So maybe that would have helped. So, but now that I've done all that, I need to put a little bit of my deep brown back into here. So I'm going to use that to just deepen that up a little bit and blend out that copper shade and I don't know if that's a collaboration palette I don't know who it collaborates I, I don't be knowing this stuff I just go on Colourpop and see that they got some cute little eyeshadow palettes and pick it up half these people I don't even know but my eyeliner of choice is going to be the makeup revolution eyeliner i picked it up purely because of the way it looks because of the packaging okay um this is not a new product this I mean, it's new to the channel, but it's not new to me. I've used it a few times. Really nice, really pigmented, but it does dry a little bit shiny. I think it was like $9. It's a good it's a good eyeliner. They got me with the packaging though, okay? I'm going to try this little new eyeshadow um, that I picked up. Pressed Harmony E. Ella Eden London. Someone gave this to me for a present. I'm going to put this. I want to pop it on the center. Let's see how that looks. Because look, it's very pretty. It's like got an orangey, you know, type of color to it. So, oh, I wonder if you guys can even see that. Can you see? Oh, yes, you can. Because look, the difference. A white pop and then this, okay? Let me do it on the other side. Yeah, that was a gift for my birthday. So, thank you, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Mascara is going to be the Essence Mascara, which I don't know if I've put this on the channel before, but this stuff is bomb. Really good. I had lost it for a while and I found it yesterday or the day before and put it back to use. And it is really good. Oh my gosh. Do you see these lashes? Do you see them? Do you see them? Look at them versus this. Girl. All right. All righty. Mascara is on. No lashes for me. Y'all know I don't really do lashes. Okay, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on. I finally found a sunscreen that doesn't turn white or doesn't like make me look ashy. So, thank you to um, Too Much Mouth. I think her name is, I don't know, I'm not even gonna guess. Shanae. Shanine, I think. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I hope that's her name. Um, primer. New to the channel, not new to me. Tatcha. I'm gonna use this. All right. And I know they. It comes with a little spatula, but I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. But I guess that's good for when you're first getting used to it. When you're first using the primer to know how much to use. Foundation goes on nice underneath, I mean over top of it, so it's nice. It is nice, and it's not its not a mattifying primer at all. As you can see, I still look a little bit, you know, glowy, I'll say that. Um, Tarte Clean Slate, this might be new to the channel, I don't know. It's a nice smoothing primer. Um... As far as like completely erasing your pores, I don't see that. Um, but it does a nice job with camouflaging them, as you can see. So the foundation that we are using today is the NYX. Can't stop, won't stop, Rockefeller Records, because we uh, get down, because we uh, get down, to the girls, the girls that love us, whatever. You guys remember that song? Oh my gosh, whenever I hear this, and I think Jackie sang the same song. <laughs> we singing the same song, but anyways. 
uh, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. All right, and I got the shade Sienna based on the, um, like, you know, the descriptions. It said deep with neutral undertones or something. And I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying that this works, okay? I'm gonna put it on this brush. I'm gonna do one pump um, on this brush and then I'm gonna apply it with this and then blend it out on one side with a brush, a new brush that I got, and then on the other side with that sponge. Okay, okay. One pump gives you this much product and Alyssa Ashley said that it actually you know it goes on a little lighter but it you know give it a time to blend down or you know to melt down <laughs> Jesus it looks so light girl now one side I'm using this this is a Japanese brush duo fiber brush and I'm just gonna you know blend this in and it seems to be drying down decently but I don't know about this shade so far and I also don't know about this coverage girl but you know I can still see all of that discoloration so all right and now with the sponge let's do it one thing that they were saying about this brush is that I mean this sponge is that you don't use as much product it doesn't suck up as much product as a typical sponge all right, I think I need to work a little bit faster with this because I think it's still, I think it dried down a little bit and made it a little bit harder to blend on this side. <sighs> Another pump. I'm usually okay with one pump, but this is not that full coverage at all. I thought it was going to be thicker. I don't know why. I thought I heard someone say it's thick, but it's really not at all. I'm going to use a sponge all over. I don't like the coverage of this. I don't like the coverage of this. All of that. And everyone's raving about it. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's the sponge or something. I don't know. Uh. Look, what the heck is that? A patch. Look, patch, patch, patch. I can't do this. Look. Oh, oh my god look at this oh, what is it oh jeez ah, what's going on okay i gotta cover this up though all right just just stipple when all else oh god look guys look i'm stippling and the whole patch came off i you know y'all probably think i'm being dramatic or whatever this is freaking ridiculous. Every video I've seen on this foundation is raving about how good it is I, with my foundation. Anyways, I'm going to go in with some concealer now. The same concealer that I used before. Okay, the concealer is okay. It's not good. <laughs> it's not that good <laughs> Jeez. okay this little makeup little review is turned real interesting okay I'm gonna go in with something with a little bit more coverage this is the Tarte Maracuja or creaseless concealer and just get a little bit more coverage under the eye that concealer is like a light coverage I don't got time for this crap maybe something wrong with me today uh, getting a uh, let me just go in with one of my sponges that I know works. All right, give me my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. Are y'all serious out here? All right. If you guys have used this foundation, can you please tell me how to use it? And I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I I love Elizabeth Ashley's channel. She is amazing. 
I don't understand that at all. Set this real quick. That was a mixture of um, Ben Nye banana powder and Ben Nye topaz powder that I just used under my eye. Right, and now I'm going to go in with a powder foundation to kind of like cover all that up. Black Opal True Color Ultra Matte Powder Foundation um, in Medium Deep. <clears throat> I just... I've never had that happen with me before on a foundation. Now I'm debating whether I want to put the video up. Jesus. I'm not trying to drag nobody. Because maybe it's a learning curve for me. Okay. Bronzer from ColourPop is the deepest shade. That powder really helped. That powder foundation by uh, Black Opal really helped. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some warmth back to my face. This is what the shade looks like. I think I'm going to do a little bit of contour with the same brush. Rimmel London. This is not new to me. That, uh, that bronzer looks nice. I like that. So I'm happy I picked that up. All right. Where is it? All right, I'm going to use my CoverGirl True Blend um, Serving Sculpt Palette. Okay, Serving Sculpt. Okay, um, this is the shade Rose Nights, um, the version, because I think they've got a couple of versions. So this has a highlight, a blush, and then a bronzer for somebody, not for me. Um, I got it because I wanted to try to blush. It has a nice purpley, mauvey tone to it. So... Just going lightly on the cheeks. It's kind of powdery though. It's a powdery thing. I don't know if you could see the powder kicking up as I'm applying it. So my Becca, uh, this is that um, geode color. What is it called? Chocolate geode. Gosh, Becca got some good highlighters, y'all. Right here. Sometimes I use this as a little highlight, which I'll just demonstrate. It gives a nice little subtle glow to the cheeks. Very soft. Very nice. And this is like a finishing powder. So, and it's, this is the shade Radiant Light. This product is not new to me, but it is a reorder because um, I ran out of it. This is the ColourPop um, Facial Spray Amber. So now I put that on, letting it dry, and then I'm going to take my sponge and press onto the highlighted areas. Look at those bottom lashes, guys. Lips are being done with ColourPop BFF3. Never tried this before. Okay. And then Quickie. Never used this before either. Shayla's uh, collection. I think I need to get a different lip liner color. It's okay, but I think I need it. I want something a little darker. And do you see how light this shade is? Let me show you. It didn't look like that online. Okay. Oh my God. This is not going to look at me. <laughs> oh, no. What am I trying to do here? What am I trying to do? No, honey. No, girl. No. Okay. It's, you can make, I can make it work. You know, it looks a lot better in person than it does on this camera. Because right now it's looking a little bit ashy. But this was interesting. This is interesting. I don't know if I've ever filmed a first impressions on my channel, but um, yeah, this was very interesting. And it was quite fun. Hopefully, hopefully it was fun for you guys. It looks better in person. I just need a lot of lip liner. Okay, for that one. That's gonna be like a lip topper, a lip like, a little color you add to the middle of the lips to give it a little bit more depth, to do a little bit of ombre, that type of a thing. Definitely cannot go out in public with that only, because you will look like you are on something if you're my complexion okay
it looks nice. It looks nice, you know. I'm not like over the top like, oh my god, this looks banging, you know. It it looks nice. I need to work with it a little bit more. I think there's some type of learning curve with this foundation. That was the thing I was most excited about trying because typically ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, they're cool, you know, they work, you know, they do well. Um, and that sponge, but oh, I don't know guys. That's the thing with first impressions. You just try it and then sometimes mm -hmm. things you need to work with them a little bit longer before you can get your full thoughts. So right now, this foundation was a freaking mess, okay? That is my first impression on it. Um, one layer only, apparently, maybe it doesn't mesh well with the stuff I use on my skin. Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to use something that's not as moisturizing um, on my skin in order for that to work. I don't know. Anyways, those are my thoughts. The bronzer worked well. The eyeshadow looks very nice. Hope you guys like the look. Concealer, if you need a light coverage, sure. It really wasn't all that high of a coverage to me. Okay, what else was new? Brush seems okay. I'm gonna try it with another foundation. Sponge seems okay. I'm gonna try it with another foundation. Um, lip color for my skin tone, not if you're trying to wear it on its own. Definitely not. You need a lip liner. You need another color. You need something to make that thing work so you don't look like you're on drugs. Okay. Good. My skin looks really nice though. And I don't know if that's up due to the foundation, the powder, my skincare that I did last night. But it looks really, 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 really smooth. <laughs> really smooth. Gosh, it looks real smooth and nice, nice and glowy and stuff. So I cannot deny that it all came together. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm rambling, but you guys enjoy your day. Have a great day. And um, I'll be talking to you all really, really soon. Okay, see ya. Hey guys, so it's been about an hour since I applied the foundation. I'm on my iPhone and I apologize for the orientation of the video. But it looks really nice in natural sunlight. Um, the foundation looks really nice in natural sunlight. Um, and I think that's probably a um, attribution to the foundation, but also the skincare steps that I took last night. I, so my skin is super smooth, was super smooth this morning, and I took all my skincare steps like I was supposed to and stuff. So, um, but yeah, the foundation looks really good in person. Thank God for that black, oh, whoops. <laughs> Thank God for that black opal powder that I brought it all together and stuff. It's looking really nice, guys. I cannot deny that. And it, my face is matte, so yes, I'm really happy with this face. So I'll be um, trying to come back with another check-in, but here we are after like an hour. Hey guys, I am back and it is uh, 1.55. So that means I've had on the foundation for a little over four hours. And this is what it is looking like. Oh, it's looking normal, it's not overly matte, but I'm not oily or anything like that. The foundation has pretty much settled into the skin. This is the way I like, you know, my foundation and things like that to look. Um, the only thing I can see is that the smile lines are ever present as usual. Um, but I find that the more I talk, the more I smile and stuff like that throughout the day, um, the quicker the smile lines appear. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you guys that update um, and let you know how it's holding up so far. But, yeah, so far, so good. It is 5.30, almost 5.30, so that makes this eight hours of wear. Um, this is what it's looking like, a little bit more oily than I would have liked on the nose area and things. I didn't do my powder underneath my foundation like I usually would um, because I heard that this was such a matte foundation. Tomorrow, when I try this again, I'll see how the powder underneath the foundation helps out. It's a lot of trial and error, so tomorrow I'm gonna do another trial um, with my mattifying, mattifying powder and things like that and see how it holds up. So I will leave those results in the comment section of this video, and I hope that this overview, this first impressions video with check-ins was helpful for you guys, and I will be talking to you all really soon. See ya. 
hey guys so it is the next day and I did want to come on camera um, with my face done and just give you guys a couple of updates I redid the foundation I used the foundation again but I did a different base okay I did my sunscreen but I used this NARS pour and shine primer I used this and then I set my primer with my uh, Becca Hydra Mist powder, okay? So I did use the brush to apply the foundation, but I put two pumps on that brush, okay? And then I blended it real quick with my NYX, um, with my clean NYX brush. This is the number three brush. I think this is the multi-purpose brush, whatever they call it. Um, and it went on so much better. No patchiness at all. And once it dried down a little bit, I could apply a little bit more. But when I applied a little bit more, I did not apply it with that, um, you know, I didn't paint it on with that brush. I squeezed a little bit on top of this brush and just, you know, buffed it in with the brush. It sounds like a lot of work, don't it? It sounds like a lot of work. But I did want to let you guys know that, you know, I came back today and it was a much, much... 100% better experience with this foundation than it was yesterday so I am gonna of course leave that footage in the video just so you guys can see you know the struggles I had with it because I did go into the Ulta website and I saw some people like this foundation only has like 3.5 stars on Ulta somebody did say the same thing that I said it was hard to apply super patchy couldn't blend it out this that and the other so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I did kind of figure out a way for me that it works as far as full coverage, not full coverage. I would say light to medium, like some people were saying on Ulta, light to medium coverage. So I wanted to give you guys that update. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, you guys decide if you want to try it. Of course, Ulta accepts returns, you know, if you don't like it. So, I mean, it's $15, so there's no harm. And, you know, just picking it up to try it, seeing how you like it a couple times. If you don't like it, then, you know, take that thing back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you appreciate this follow-up. I did just want to let you guys know on camera so that you can see what it actually looks like. <sighs> I love y'all. I'm about to get dressed and go to work and stuff, and um, I'll be talking to you soon. See ya.